Tesla is set to turn the trucking industry upside down with its electric semi-truck. While there have been many delays since Musk unveiled the battery-powered truck in 2017, Tesla is now ready to start producing the semi. With the number of gigafactories increasing globally, where will Tesla make the semi? Join us as we explore inside Tesla's new semi-factory. Trucks are the backbone of commerce as they move cargo from one place to another. If they are not transporting raw materials, they are moving finished goods from the factory to the retailer. Sometimes they carry parts used in manufacturing too. Truckers cover long distances as they take goods from one part of the country to another. Due to the tasking requirements, trucks have to be solid and powerful. For many decades, we have relied on trucks powered by fossil fuel. As a result, the trucking industry is one of the guiltiest culprits of carbon emissions, even though they provide an essential service. This makes the industry very ripe for the disruption only Elon Musk is capable of. The Holy Grail would be a zero-emission truck capable of bearing the rigors of such a demanding industry while saving on costs massively. The Tesla Semi incredibly satisfies all conditions. The truck is powered by four electric motors with one in each rear wheel, and Musk previously claimed its drivetrain would have a lifespan of a million miles. Independent suspension should provide a smooth ride. In designing the cabin, Tesla deviated from the norm by positioning the driver in the cabin's center instead of to the right or left side. The driver's seat is elevated, allowing them to see more of the road. A system of external cameras will deliver live video of the surroundings on two screens. The front shape of the truck also stands out. Tesla chose the design to minimize the drag experienced by the truck. This is important so as to squeeze out as many miles from the battery because the higher the resistance caused by the wind, the more energy required to move and the less driving range available. If you're interested in the raw figures, the Semi has a drag coefficient of 0.38 CD, far better than other diesel trucks that fall between 0.65 and 0.7 CD. The lower the value, the better the vehicle. A completely flat floor and side flaps that automatically adjust to the profile of the trailer being towed also help the truck cut through the air as easily as possible. As is the case with most electric vehicles, the Tesla Semi truck features a regenerative braking system which recycles energy lost when slowing down, topping up the battery and boosting range. Tesla reckons that the system is so effective that the brake pads themselves will never have to be replaced. Tesla claims another advantage over internal combustion engine trucks is the Semi's performance uphill. Most lorries only manage 45 miles per hour on a 5% gradient, whereas Tesla's offering should be capable of 65 miles per hour thanks to its greater levels of torque. Coming to the battery, Tesla announced the top trim would have a 500-mile range, which is impressive enough. However, with the new 4680 that offers longer ranges and lighter weights, we won't be surprised if the range increases significantly. Tesla has not updated the spec sheet since it made the new battery public, but a 650-mile range may not be impossible. Even Musk has hinted at a 1,000-kilometer range, which is about 620 miles. To make the battery go further, Tesla has developed another innovative solution, an automatic tire inflation system for the semi. The company applied for a patent allowing us to see how the system works. Proper tire inflation pressure is essential when operating a commercial vehicle as it can affect fuel efficiency and increase tire wear. Quoting the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, a 0.5 to 1% increase in fuel consumption is the norm for commercial vehicles with tires underinflated by 10 psi. Ensuring a commercial vehicle has adequately inflated tires also decreases the chances of roadside breakdowns related to tire failures. In the case of the semi, the fuel is the battery. There is no doubt that the battery pack is massive. So how would such a large battery be charged without wasting time since time is crucial in the logistics business? Well, you can trust Musk's Tesla to innovate its way out of a problem. The answer is the Mega Charger. A Mega Charger can complete 80% charge in as little as half an hour, providing around 400 miles of range. The first has been installed near the company's Gigafactory 1 in Nevada, where the first semi-trucks are being completed. Full details are yet to be confirmed, 
although these chargers are expected to be several times faster than the latest V3 Tesla superchargers, which can top up cars like the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y at speeds of up to 250 kilowatts. Tesla installed the megachargers on the premises of one of its earliest customers, PepsiCo. These powerful chargers are now active on the company's Frito-Lay Modesto facility in California. In all of these, the payload of the Tesla Semi is critical. The truck doesn't disappoint in this regard. Last August, Tesla's 2020 impact report explained that the truck payload was no less than that for a diesel truck. The Semi will also benefit from an allowance granted to electric trucks. When loaded, US rules allow electric trucks to be 2,000 pounds heavier than diesel equivalents. For the EU, rules allow 2 tons or 4,400 pounds of extra load. A Class 8 truck has a weight limit of 80,000 pounds. That means for the semi, the weight limit would be 82,000 pounds in the US and around 84,400 pounds in the EU. Seeking Alpha noted in 2013 that more than 90% of loaded trucks in the US weigh less than 73,000 pounds. Tesla has boasted the semi is the safest truck ever. Enhanced autopilot helps avoid collisions, a center driver position provides maximum visibility and control, and a low center of gravity offers rollover protection. However, every driver is still responsible for remaining alert and active when using autopilot and must be prepared to take action at any time. What about the cost of the semi-truck? There's a reservation price of $20,000 which is fully refundable. But the 300-mile version starts from $150,000, while the 500-mile version begins from $180,000. While that may sound expensive, since the average sale price of a Class 8 truck in the US was at $117,430 in 2018, Tesla says that the truck offers fuel savings of over $200,000 and a two-year payback period. Tesla is so good at manufacturing, which is an inevitable outcome given the level of vertical integration it has achieved. Of all auto companies, Tesla manufactures the most parts by itself. This is why Tesla has been expanding its production facilities across the globe. One of the new plants, Giga Texas, is where Tesla will build the semi-truck. The plant is nearing completion and will be one of the United States' most ambitious vehicle production facilities. The massive factory, which Elon Musk has noted will be almost a mile long when completed, is expected to hire thousands of workers in the area. The plant is so massive that, combined with the influx of companies moving into the state, there will be an increase in the number of people residing in the city. In fact, Austin Transit leaders are already thinking of expanding the city's transportation network. After all, all the new workers will need a way to get to and from their jobs without regressing the day they accepted their job offers. Even before it is completed, Giga Texas has been attracting visitors. And one of the highest profile visitors is Herbert Deese, the CEO of the Volkswagen Group. After touring the facility, he said he was happy his own company decided to build a new factory for making EVs, or it would not have been able to compete with Tesla. His own Volkswagen board just approved a new $2 billion plant in Wolfsburg, Warmenau. The Texas factory will be opened in April with a massive ceremony known as Cyber Rodeo. About 15,000 spectators are expected, despite being a strictly by invitation event. The attendance dwarfs the crowd at the opening of Giga Berlin, where Musk entertained the crowd with his far from perfect dance routine. A semi-prototype has been spotted at the factory as preparation for the Cyber Rodeo enters into full gear. The opening event is expected to cause schools in the area to close earlier than usual so that students are not caught in the traffic. Tesla is already setting new benchmarks in Austin. Giga Texas will start production with the Model Y equipped with 4680 batteries. Let's hear what you think of the Tesla Semi in the comments section below.